Welcome mga ka-engineers! We are back for another interesting experiment, the loss in ignition on cement. The loss in ignition test is a very simple test, which indicates moisture in the cement. The loss is an indication of the prehydration which results from introduction or absorption of moisture during manufacture, or carbonation which results from the absorption of moisture and carbon dioxide in exposure to the air. If cement stands in a humid atmosphere, it may harden even if still in bags. Cement that has deteriorated this way, if regarded in place in the market, can be detected by excessive loss in ignition. Therefore, the loss in ignition is a measure of how fresh the cement is. Here is our objective. To determine the mass loss in a sample heated to up to a maximum of 1000 degrees Celsius. Now let us proceed to the materials needed in our experiment. First is the Portland cement, porcelain crucibles, crucible tongs, hand gloves, muffle furnace or a drying oven, and lastly, balance and weights. To commence the experimental procedure, the initial step involves determining the weight of an empty crucible in a highly accurate mass balance. The weight measurement obtained will then be duly documented in the laboratory notebook denoted as W1. As for our experiment, we yielded a weight of 130, 137, and 139 for crucible 1 to 3, respectively. Now we take the 10 grams of cement and place it carefully into the empty crucible. Record the initial weight of the crucible with the cement as W2. This weight represents the combined mass of the cement and the crucible. Following the previous step, proceed by placing the sample in either a drying oven or a blast furnace. Close the door of the drying oven tightly to create a sealed environment. Start the heating process by turning on the oven and setting the time to run for 15 minutes. Monitor the oven's temperature gauge or display to ensure that the temperature rises within the design range of 900 to 1000 degrees Celsius. After 15 minutes, carefully open the oven while simultaneously stepping back to maintain a safe distance from the hot air escaping the furnace to prevent potential burns or discomfort caused by the high temperature. Leave the oven door open and allow the crucible containing the cement to naturally cool down. Using the oven mitts, carefully retrieve the crucibles with the samples from the oven. Take the crucible containing the sample and place it carefully on a stable and precise weighing scale. Record the weight displayed in a scale as a combined weight of the crucible and the sample. Let's denote this weight as W3. Then, subtract the empty crucible weight from this new weight and that is the sample's dry weight. 
Let's proceed to the calculations. To calculate the loss on ignition, we use the following formula. Here is our tabulated data and the calculated percent loss on ignition from sample 1 to 3. We average the result from sample 1 to 3 and get 2.30% loss on ignition. Let's proceed to results and discussion. According to ASTM C150, the maximum allowable LOI or loss in ignition for general use Portland cement is 3%. This specification ensures that the cement has a low content of volatile compounds and impurities, which can affect the performance and durability of concrete. Furthermore, based on our calculation, the average percent loss of ignition across all three samples resulted in approximately 2.30%, which passes the ASTM C150 standard specifications for Portland cement. In conclusion, our experiment showed that the tested cement contains the appropriate compounds necessary for the cement to set and harden properly, with an overall percent loss of ignition within the standard range. Thank you for watching! See you next time!